standard dust normal distribution graph. Given the area of the shaded region is 38.69% of the total area under the curve, find P, Z is larger than H. So you see here, for the normal distribution graph, the total, the total probability is equal to 1. And you see, total area on the right side is equal to the left side. The bell shape is equal, where this one, the probability is 0 0.5, and this one, probability is 0 0.5, where this, the right side is uh, symmetrical to the left side and you can see here the area is equal to this total area is equal to 0 0.5 so we can see area shaded area shaded is equal to 0 0.5 because all the right side is 0 0.5 minus probability of C this one is H Z is larger than H Z is larger than H so we see here the area shaded is 38.69%. So we see 38.69% is equal to 38.69 divided by 100 which is 0.3869. So here area shaded is 0.3869. Now we can get probability of Z is larger than H. So probability of Z is larger than H is equal. So we want this one. This one is negative. So we bring it to the left. So we have 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3869. So we have 0 0.1131. Hence, this is 0 0.1131. X S is continuous random variable distributed with a mean of 25. So mean is equal to 25. And standard deviation of 3. Find the value of x when the z score is h. So z square is h. So we see here this is 0 0.1131. We can find z from the table. So from table, so probability. So when the probability of z is larger than H is equal to 0 0.1131. So we can find 0 0.1131 from the table so that we can get the value of Z. So 0 0.1131 as you can see is so 1131, this is 12, 10, 1131 is here. So this is you can see the Z value is 1.21. So Z is equal to 1.21. 1 1.2 so, Z is equal to 1.21. So, we know from here, Z is equal to X minus mean over standard deviation. So, we have Z is equal to 1.21. It's equal to X minus mean is 25 over standard deviation of 3. So, X minus 25 is equal to 1.21 times 3, which is equal to 3.63 and x is equal to 3.63 plus 25 which is equal to 28.63.